Joining me now to talk about this is U.S. Senator Josh Hawley from the state of Missouri, who just yesterday released his latest book, The Tyranny of Big Tech. Senator, welcome back to the program. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Well, the timing of your book's release could not have uh, been more appropriate. Well, I tell you, it's crazy what we're seeing out there, Tony, with this oversight board or whatever it's called at Facebook. You know, I just, to be honest with you, I just have to laugh. I mean, this board is not independent. Facebook set it up. It's a Facebook entity, and it's basically Facebook telling Facebook that it's okay for the company to do whatever they want to do, and we're just supposed to live with it. I mean, that's what Facebook ultimately their message is, is we're going to not follow our own rules. We're not going to follow our procedures. We're going to censor and ban however we want to, and then we're just supposed to take it. And I think, Tony, we've got to get to the point where we say, no, we're not going to take it. We're not going to allow companies like this, these big tech companies, to have so much power. We're going to break them up. Well, Senator, you're not new to this fight. In fact, I think the first time I had you on this program, you were the attorney general of Missouri in which you were taking on big tech for all of the information that they were collecting from the users and doing so for purposes that didn't benefit the users. Yeah, they're still doing that, Tony. This is how you know, by the way, that these companies have monopoly power is that they take our information from us without our consent. They sell it and use it without our permission. They manipulate us against our will. And there's nothing we can do about it. You know, I mean, nobody, if we had an actual choice, none of us would put up with that. We would say, no, I'm going to go to a competitor who won't do that to me. But there are no competitors to these major platforms. There is nowhere to go. And this is why we need to restore competition to these markets, Tony. We need to break up these big woke corporations, the big tech corporations, and put the people back in control of their own information of their own data, of their own lives. Are these the uh, the robber barons of the 21st century? They are, in fact, that's exactly right. They represent the most powerful corporations this country has seen in a century, and I think ever, Tony, because you can go back to the railroads and you can go back to Standard Oil. Those companies, those monopolies, they didn't have control over news. They didn't have control over speech. They didn't have control over information and, and the sort of control over politics that now the big tech companies have, but we know what to do. I mean, we did it a century ago. We say when these monopolies get so powerful that they try to, try to start running our lives and running our politics, we break them up. We say that, no, the people are going to be in charge, and that's what we need to do now. So, Senator Holly, let's talk about uh, your new book. I mean, I, I guess we're talking about it because this is a subject matter, The Tyranny of Big Tech. Uh, tell our listeners about it. Well, this is a book that I really grows out of my work as first attorney general uh, of the state of Missouri when I, I brought uh, antitrust investigations against Facebook and Google. We were the first state to do it. And then my work in the United States Senate trying to stand up to these big tech behemoths. You know, this book was was uh, attempted to be canceled. I mean, the corporate publisher tried to cancel it. Big tech tried to cancel it. They tried to censure it. They tried to, to silence it. And it didn't work. And it's in print now. And it really is. I write in the book, this is the book the corporate monopolies didn't want you to read. That is absolutely true. But guess what? They failed. And so now Americans can get it. They can read for themselves. And, and we can talk about the things that we need to do to put power back in the hands of normal, everyday working Americans. And I really think that begins with breaking up these monopolies, taking away their special giveaways from government and helping families reclaim their lives. I mean, what they tried to do to your book is exhibit A as to why your book is factual and true and need, these issues need to be addressed. Yeah, that's exactly right, Tony. It highlights their power. I mean, the fact that these tech companies wanted to cancel my speech, wanted to cancel the speech of, of others with, with whom they disagree. I mean, look what they did to the Hunter Biden New York Post story where Twitter and Facebook really colluding, uh, throttled down that story. It did Twitter, of course, basically banned it altogether, locked out the New York Post from their own account. It was crazy, crazy, brazen intervention by these companies in a presidential election and in the, the news and journalism of a presidential election. And they weren't the least bit apologetic about it. They weren't the least bit covert about it. They are open in their desire to try and control speech in this country. And we just can't let that happen. Uh, Senator Holly, the American people are, you know, a pretty, you know, they, they, they just want to get along, you know, and they're just saying, you know what, okay. But there comes a point where, you know, you poke them long enough and they're going to push back. 
And I think what we just saw in Atlanta, in Georgia, where you had the, the legislature, the governor there actually addressing issues that came up in the last election. And then you've got these woke corporations like Delta and Coca-Cola, you know, weighing in. Um, and then you've got Major League Baseball that now has egg on its face. Um, is or have we come to a point where it's beginning to tip? and the American people are pushing back. Well, I think the American people certainly are pushing back, and I hope that Washington will listen. I mean, what we what we see, I think, are Americans all over the country saying, listen, we're not going to be dictated to by these monopoly corporations, by these woke capitalists, especially these guys who benefit from slave labor abroad, exploited labor abroad. That is so many of these right. companies who've shipped our jobs overseas, who are happy to make a, a quick buck using forced labor. And then they want to turn around and tell Americans that they're bigoted and backwards and, and the whole nine yards. And I think people are tired of it. They're saying, no, 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 no. This, I'm not going to stand for it. Americans ought to be in control of their government, not corporations. And that's what the book is about. And it's about what we can do to confront that. Well, let's talk about that because you're right. The hypocrisy here has reached uh, unprecedented levels. All right. There is a legislative component here. You talk about the issue of monopolies. There's something there that the, 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 the Congress, the courts, um, and then there's personal responsibility. There's things we can do as individuals. So let's start with Congress. What can we do as it pertains to these monopolies they have? No, I would say two things. The first is we need new legislation that will make it clear that these tech companies cannot gobble up the entire United States economy and put it under their control. Take Amazon, for instance. Amazon shouldn't be able to own and run the dominant e-commerce platform in the world and also own a dominant share of the cloud computing services and also leverage their monopolies in those industries in order to have a retail line of products that it uh, uses its competitors' information in order to in order to uh, produce. I mean, it's trying to do all of these things and more. That's just a sample. I think we ought to say no. You can't combine all of these things under one company. You've got to spin those off. You've got to break it up. I would start right there. I would also say that the immunity shield, the special deal that these companies get from the federal government, Section 230, that protects them from lawsuits, that protects them from liability. They shouldn't get that sweetheart deal if they're going to keep engaging in this behavior. They should be treated like other media platforms, like other platforms in the country, and they should have to answer to the same rules that these other platforms do. When you look at uh, these uh, these issues of uh, the, the Congress acting, is there bipartisan support for congressional action? Well, you know, it's interesting. I think that there is a chance for some bipartisan uh, efforts toward holding big tech accountable, and I would ho hope towards breaking them up. Here's what I wonder about, though, Tony. I think that our friends on the left have really sort of fallen in love with big tech's power. I think they like their monopoly power over speech, especially. And the Democrats now want to regulate these companies into censoring even more speech. If you listen to, to the Democrats in the Senate, at least, what you can hear from them is, is pushing these companies to do more regulation, to crack down on more speech, to censor more conservatives. I think that's exactly the wrong direction. We don't need to be increasing the power of these companies, and we certainly don't need to be putting big government and big business together. We need to be breaking up this power so we can have real competition. Uh, Senator, very quickly, 30 seconds left. Uh, besides going out and buying a copy of The Tyranny of Big Tech, what can the concerned citizen do to push back on big tech? Well, take back your family life for one thing. I mean, make sure that you do as much of, of your life as a family, your interactions together, your time together. Do it person to person. Do it off of these tech platforms. Don't live your life on the tech platform. Have real friendships, real relationships that, is, that are yours, where tech isn't mediating, a standing between you and the world. Very good advice, Senator. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, we're going to encourage all of our listeners to pick up a copy of The Tyranny of Big Tech and uh, send a message and read them.